Hi Leo, thank you for joining me for your March love reading. If you're new to tarot or if you just want to check out my reading schedule or any of the card decks that I've used or anything else about my channel then you can check out my descriptions box below or my pinned comment. There you can find an extensive list of information and it means that I can just get straight into your reading. Please also do remember that this is a gentle read and it can be reversed so if you're cross watching you can switch the positions around. Okay, right, so Leo Collective in love for March, please. Okay, right, so Leo, you've got transformation. Um, transformation is not easy. It's not easy, but it's very, very necessary. And this is your current energy. Um, your situation, as it's playing out, is absolutely changing. Um, there's something here that feels a bit forced, though, Leo. Um, it's almost as if you were forced into this transition. It's not feeling like it's something that you will willingly walked into, uh, more something that was forced onto you. So it feels more difficult than usual. Um, interesting there's something about a brand new beginning as well i'm just noticing the sun there's it looks like there's a sun there that's shining through so that tells me leo that things are going to get a lot easier for you a lot easier um which you will be pleased to hear especially since this transition has been quite a painful one Okay, right, so we're going to start pulling your tarot and we're going to ask very specific questions about your person and we will start with how they're seeing you. How does, oh, thank you, the chariot, okay, Cancerian energy. Someone sees that you're moving forward, someone sees that you're not stuck. Um, There's, there's a bit of resentment here that someone's feeling towards you, Leo, because in their eyes, it's almost as if you've moved on from them quite effortlessly. You've got the page of coins, it's Earth, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. There we go. Five of Wands, it's Leo energy. Yeah. Um, con conflicted. So... Someone is looking at you and they're making a lot of assumptions here. They're assuming that you've moved on from them quite easily. But that's that's not entirely true. That's not the case whatsoever. You know what's actually happened here, Leo, is because you made you made it look effortless. And so they've they've come to the wrong conclusion here. I'm just going to clarify this five of wands a second. Why is the five of wands here, please? Loads. Five of cups, scorpion. Eight of wands is Sagittarius. Five of wands again, it's Leo. Death is scorpion. And the knight of coins is Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Um, you've had to fight to get to the position that you're currently at, Leo. You have had to fight literally tooth and nail. Um, this, when, when we said at the start that this transition wasn't easy, that was basically the understatement of the century, right? Um, you, you just made it look effortless, that's all, because of your grace and your ability to, to pick yourself back up again. Um, we do have someone here, Leo, in your energy, who is feeling very, very bitter towards you. I am afraid to say that, um, but it's here, so I do have to read it as I see it that they're feeling bitter, um, that there is a bit of jealousy as well that's aimed towards you. It's almost as if, um, like they're, they're being really selfish basically because they seem to think that you should be making more of a song and dance about uh, something ending 
than than what you did. Um, <clears throat> I, I don't know what kind of high horse they're sitting on, but let me tell you when they come off it, that it's going to hurt. Okay, they are going to sting when they fall off of that high horse. Um, literally, <laughs> they're trying to start something here, Leo. Um, and it feels like they're trying to get some kind of a reaction out of you, right? Once again, it's a repeating theme of your past couple of months. So they're still here. They're still very much active in your energies. They're still trying to press your buttons. And it stems from a place of hurt from inside of them, okay? They view you basically as their cause of pain, and what they fail to do is to actually introspect. While you're trying to move on, you're trying to build up your life again for a lot of you, you're trying to put yourself back together. They're very much wallowing in self-pity and they, they seem to feel that it's easier to blame you for their problems than it is to face their problems. What they're actually doing is they're not facing their own internal darkness. They're not facing their, their, their roots of their jealousy. Um, that there is, there's something that feels a wee bit vindictive here as well with their energy. Um, it's almost like I'm gonna teach you a lesson. I'm gonna show you uh, what what you're missing. I'm, I'm going to show you how dare you hurt me, how dare you walk away from me, right? Now, obviously, I don't know your story. I just have to read the cards as I see it and cross watches. Please remember, you can switch the positions as well, okay? Um, it is interchangeable with a general read. Nobody knows your story better than you do, okay? Usually, you'll find that you'd be watching tarot for some kind of validation, usually. Um, I, I would be mindful of this individual, Leo, because I'm seeing that there is going to be rumours that started from this individual with the intent to cause as much damage as possible. I'm not seeing that they're going to be successful with it. I'm not, I'm not telling you that whatsoever. In fact, I literally told you that they're going to come off their high horse and it's going to sting. Okay, but they will attempt to create some kind of rumor uh, that's designed specifically to try and hurt you. Um, I don't know the context of this rumor. It could just be, it could be something personal about you. It could be um, like them inventing a brand new relationship when there isn't one anything like that, anything that they assume is going to cut you deep, they, they're going to attempt. Personally, I wouldn't give any energy into this. Um, it feels like a huge waste of time. You're dealing with someone who is, um, that they, they don't want to look at themselves, so they find it easier to blame everybody else. So bear in mind that they're behaviors says nothing about you but it says everything about them right that's the bigger picture that you need to keep a tight grasp of here okay right what's uh how does this individual feel about leo please how does this oh thank you Page of Wands, Fire Energy, Aries, Leo, Sag. That pertains to New Path. This one is in reverse. The Knight of Wands, Sagittarius Energy. Okay. Um, so, yeah, that, that can be spite when that's in reverse. And the Seven, oh, yeah. The Seven of Coins, uh, Taurus Energy. Um, yeah, they need to be careful. They need to be really, really careful. The seven of coins is, it can be patiently waiting. This is the card of harvest. It's the card of you reap what you sow. Um, that's why I flinched when I saw that. I was like, ooh, ah, you bastard. Uh, this is going to sting. 
right? It's going to sting them. In their heart space, they feel justified in their actions towards you because we've already established that they're basically blaming you is the root of their problems, that blaming you is the cause of their hurt, right? They're, they're not approaching it in a way that's going to be beneficial to anybody in this situation. Um, I need to be careful about what I say because this does feel karmic. It feels really, really karmic. Whatever they throw at you, Leo, is going to be returned to them tenfold. They need to be really, really careful. This Knight of Wands coming out in reverse is making me nervous. I don't like it. When it's in upright, it can pertain to an individual who's quite difficult to pin down. It can pertain to someone who is going against the grain because, you know, that they, they've got a really strong opinion of their own, okay? It's someone who places bets against an unpopular horse and they, they come out smelling like rosies, basically. Um, they, they place bets on a losing horse and they still win. Um, when that's in reverse... I don't like it. I really don't like it because it's someone who feels justified in in the spiteful behavior. They they feel they feel like someone owes them something. Uh, they feel very. It, it's someone who's very entitled. <clears throat> um, and yeah, that there is vindictiveness here. There is, but like from the place that they're coming from they feel completely justified to be a spiteful a-hole towards you because what, what they're looking at is you moving on from the, the situation with them. You're glowing. You're doing great. You're doing really friggin' well. Like you, you made it look effortless on breaking free and like ascending, right? And they feel like they're stuck in this dark place and they're blaming you, saying that you put them there. Um, what actions is this individual likely to take, please, toward Leo? Okay. Queen of Wands, Aries energy. King of Cups, uh, Scorpion Energy and Judgment, Pluto Energy, more Scorpion. Um, if you're dealing with a Scorpio, Leo, the chances would be that you're dealing with a, a low vibe Scorpion. You would be dealing with a Scorpion who um, is unevolved, you know, the, the, the type of scorpions that give all Scorpios a bad name, basically, uh, because, <clears throat> because they refuse to ascend, that they, they refuse to do that inner work on themselves. Um, and now I, I clocked it when we pulled all of these cards here for you, but I didn't want to say because an unascended Scorpio can be uh, very difficult to deal with. Um, they can be quite dangerous as well, sometimes. Um, basically, the shadow side of the Scorpion, the, the one who refuses to ascend into the Eagle and then into the Phoenix. It's the one who prefers to stay at the ground level and to remain in that really negative energy, okay? There are likely actions towards you with the Queen of Wands and King of Cups. We've got a lie here. We, we do have a lie. Um, they're likely to attempt to uh, start something with a third party with the intent to try and make you jealous. We do have a lie that's coming into play from them towards you. 
and it basically pertains to um, their loyalty towards you. It's like they're, they're going to try and ask you for your forgiveness. They're going to try and make some kind of faux apology in order to get you back on side. And the, the intent behind it is just so that they can then drop you. See, I'm getting the impression, Leo, that you ended things with this individual and they didn't like it. And now it's like they're trying to win you back so that they can drop you. Because in their mind, by them doing that to you, you will know how they feel. You'll know how much hurt and pain that they're going through. It's kind of like uh, in their mind, it's payback time. And that's how they're going to do it. Um, it. It's not the best reading, granted. We do have to go with what I'm given, though. Um, because for a lot of you, this, this is going to be like a forewarned is forearmed type reading. I'm not feeling that this has happened yet. I'm feeling that this is like literally around the corner. And it's like with them coming back in towards you, Leo and making out they've changed, they want another chance, they still love you, they miss you, they're still wanting you, and all the rest, they, they might get you back on side. But the, the intent behind getting you back on side is so that they can drop you like a ton of bricks. Okay. The blockage, Six of Swords, Aquarian Energy. So the blockage is their inability to move on. They're, they're very stuck in the past. They're still holding on to a lot of hurt, a lot of pain. And again, it's like in their mind, they feel justified in doing this. What's under there? Seven of Cups. Confused, they're very confused. Yeah, um, I do feel for this individual, right? Don't don't get it jumbled. I feel for you too, absolutely. This is a very damaged individual that you've been dealing with here, Leo. My my heart goes out to both of you. Fair play, it does. Um, they're very damaged. They've caused a lot of issues in the connection or the relationship with you. You've ended things quite rightly. You've then ascended and tried to fix up your life. And they, they just refuse to let it go or to let you go. Um, they don't do well with change. And their, their version of what's fair and what isn't has somehow gotten a bit twisted somewhere along the lines. Um, they, they, they need a lot of help. Um, it's not going to come from you. That's not your responsibility, right? That's for them to seek the correct kind of help that they're needing. And I, I am talking like counselling, okay? That's not your job, Leo. It's not your job. You cannot fix this person for them. Um, that's something that they have to do for themselves. Right now, while they're in this frame of mind, they cannot be helped. They can't. Because right now they can only see the situation from one point of view. And that's from their own. Okay. Now some clarity, please, for the Leo Collective in love. <clears throat> Leo Collective in love, please. Okay. Looking closely, observing nitpicking, uh, 
creeping situation magnifying things getting rectified and focus more crawl on the hunt retail therapy meeting at the mall pleasantly surprised and the happy find and the real deal they see a light total keep a genuine compatible authentic healthy and a good choice um is an interesting set of circumstances that you find yourself in here leo It could be for some of you, not all of you. For a very, very small handful of you, that this individual has done that work on themselves. I would err on the side of caution. Okay. It's under the hand of cards, take a chance risk, being strategic, options, not showing your hand and gambling. Yeah, it does feel like a gamble. It really does. See, this read is so 50-50. Feels like a risk. You're going to have to use your very, very, very best intuitions here, Leo. Has this individual done the work on themselves that they genuinely need to do? Because either way, they're coming back in, asking you for a second chance. And this is up to you to really look at the situation closely, really analyse the situation, really analyse them. And if anything feels wrong, then it's wrong. Make sure that their words are matching up to their actions. That's for Leo, thank you. Emotions are running high, super moon. Success is close, I just must trust. A very successful job or relationship. A resolution is closer than you think. Do not ignore the obvious. Something exciting lies ahead. Um, Make sure that events are not blown out of proportion. I feel that you're dealing with someone who is very reactive. They're very quick to react to something. Um, make sure that you're not being led by your emotions here, Leo. This particular situation, your intellect is going to win the day over how you feel. Remember, your intuition is separate from your feelings. It's for Leo, please. Trust. The situation is calling for you to have faith. Okay. Have faith in your own ability to make the best decisions and the healthier decisions for yourself. Reconciliation, yeah. Someone from your past is returning to your life. Yeah, but we already knew that. And very soon, clearly decide what uh, clearly decide what it is that you want as it comes to you now. So, a part of you wants to believe them. A part of you wants to trust them, but then there's this niggle, this, this niggle that you have that screaming to you, don't do it, don't do it, don't do it. They've not changed. So you need to be really careful here, Leo. It's for Leo, please. Imrama, wonder voyage, crossing deep waters, pilgrimage, journey of the soul. Yeah, it does feel like a karmic journey of the soul. 
Time to stop talking or planning and a time for doing. Travels across water is indicated. Taking trips and going out for adventures and you've got experiments under there which is all about manipulation, games being played. So again, it's, it's really 50-50. Leo, I'm going to tell you straight out here, you're dealing with a karmic situation. You're dealing with a, a karmic X situation. Um, there is certainly a soul lesson here that is playing out in this particular connection. For some of you, we clocked that they hadn't actually changed and it was all BS. And for some of you, I, I still stand by that because there's still evidence of it here in this reading. 50-50, half of you, this individual's coming back to, to try and teach you how it feels to be hurt because for some reason or other they've got it in their head that it's their job to do that and that they're justified to do that and for the other half of you they're coming back in because they're being genuine so please be really really cautious okay you absolutely do have to trust in your own ability to make the best and healthy decision for yourself because this individual's coming in and let me tell you leo they're coming in fast they're coming in fast do not feel under any kind of pressure to make an on-the-spot decision because you you're not going to have time to think when they come back in so you need to make sure that you give yourself time and space, that you analyse carefully their words and their behaviour before you can make a decision. It's been a long, long time since I've come across a reading like this that was split exactly 50-50. for Leo, please. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Look at that. It's important right now to take a step back and spend some time alone. Instead of placing your focus on another, now is the time to give to yourself. I had literally just finished saying that. It's for Leo, please. This is dodgy. This is really, really dodgy. Yeah. You see again how 50-50 it is. Give thanks for the blessings of love that is soon to come your way. Know that you deserve to be and have all that your heart truly desires. This is categorically two groups of Leo that I'm reading for here. Go with your gut instincts, Leo. Go with your gut instincts every single time. A healing message for Leo. Thank you. Right. So you've got wildness, electricity. Okay. Right, so I always say you get three messages that come with these cards. Your first message comes from the creator of the deck. Your second and most important message comes from your own intuition while you're looking at the card. And then your third message comes from your reader and their intuition. I'll try and hold it still. Right, it says embrace your wildness, break free of your self-imposed constraints, take immediate action. There is no need for further consideration of your problem. You contain the spark of the divine, so there is no reason to feel lesser. Confront the issue head on. Mm. And then the element that rules this particular card is fire. Inspiration. Inspiration is the key word here. No reason to feel lesser. Someone made you feel like shit. To try and keep you stuck. Kind of like nagging. 
Don't fall for that BS, Leo. If someone's been nagging at you, don't fall for that. Um, it's basically a reminder that you've got this power within you. Don't be afraid to use it. It's the Leo, please. Okay, right. Huh. So your focus, you've got incoming. News, message, game changer, surprise, invitation, insights, gift, and making connections. Confirmation that, yeah, you've got news and information and communication that's coming in towards you, Leo. For some of you, it's going to be the best thing ever. And for others of you, it's going to be like a nightmare. Again, with it being a very 50-50 read. And allowing, relax, enjoy yourself, have faith, allow situations to unfold. Your answers will come and the highest outcome. So your focus is to um, make, make sure that you keep communication really precise. Okay, make sure that nothing can be misread or misunderstood um, if indeed you do communicate with this individual at all, of course. And remember as well that um, you're in control of who and what is in your life. You do not have to allow anybody in your life that you know feel well is either dangerous or just not for your highest good. You're in charge of that. Never ever forget that. Um, you're not anybody's emotional punch bag. Okay, so um, I do have to give a warning with this deck because it's very similar to the Rebel deck. Uh, it can get quite sweary and abrupt, so obviously if you're not into that sort of thing, then you might want to switch out now. So this is just an additional cheeky message for you at the end of your read, Leo. It's for Leo, please. Thank you. Breathe like you know how. Inhale the good shit. <laughs> and exhale the bad shit. Yeah. <laughs> Breathe like you know how. So it's it's knowing like who's good for you and who's who's just a shit bag and you know it's remembering who and what it is that you're putting your energies into as well. Nice. Okay, so that is what I have for you, Leo. If you would like to book a private reading with me, then the link to do so is in the descriptions box and it's in the pinned comments below. Thank you so much for watching. Have a lovely, lovely week and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Hi guys, so I just wanted to do this extra segment at the end of the videos uh, to explain my table theme throughout the month of March. So my table theme is dedicated to a really beautiful kind soul. She's called Karen. I'm not going to give her full name, obviously, because I would like to uh, protect her full identity. Uh, but she's called Karen and she's from the Maliseet tribe, which means the people of the beautiful river. And she sent me this, I hope I, I hope I can pronounce it correctly. She sent me this Willamaskill, which is sweet grass and it's grown in her territory. And it's actually one of their four sacred medicines. So it's really, really special. Uh, she taught me how to use it properly and how to look after it. And she also sent this beautiful dream catcher as well. And that was actually handmade by a Mi'kmaq elder. And I keep this on my wall close to me at all times. And she also sent me this beautiful handmade card as well. I am completely and utterly grateful for her kindness and her generosity. It's absolutely incredible. And that's why I wanted to dedicate this month's theme purely to Karen and to, to her tribe and to her people, to her culture. Um, it's honestly um, to... to 
have these items that are so utterly special is just so incredible. I'm so grateful. I'm so, so proud as well. Uh, so thank you so much, Karen Wallywan.